Hi, my name is Jeff, and today I'm taking a video to show you how the basics of heat work. And as an example, I am using my living room and dining room and kitchen. And all heat is transferred via one of three ways, convection, conduction, or radiation. And radiant heat is also known as infrared heat. And for this test, I'm going to go ahead and swap over to this other phone here that has a Seek thermal camera so that you can see what all of this looks like in infrared. All right, so I've swapped over to the infrared video camera. And here we have the uh, living room in infrared with Ranger the Golden Retriever there in the center. And you'll notice the bar on my left that notates the temperature. This adjusts depending on what I'm looking at, and I can't keep it static. So just keep in mind that the colors are relational to the temperature that shows on the left. They are not static. Now the first thing you'll know is notice is that there are lots of lines in my floors. So what in the world are those? Well, that is a hydronic system that pumps hot water through tubes through the floor. And this is often called in-floor radiant heat. But perhaps counterintuitively, it's not radiant. It is a conductive form of heat, primarily. And what that means is that conduction, conductive heat is when I touch it with my feet. It feels warmer because the, it warms the floor directly, and it's transferring that heat to my feet as I walk. Another example of conductive heat is the water that I'm boiling for my pasta. It is direct contact between the burner that's at over 600 degrees and the bottom of the pot. That is conductive. But this also has convective heat, and convective heat is all of the steam that is coming off of the top of the pot. It is heating the air that is convective. And that is the same type of heat as you would have in a baseboard or a forced air system. Or, for example, a hairdryer is another form of convective heat. So these are all ways that heat air using convection to then heat the space of a room. So, for example, here is a hairdryer, and you can see it heats what it looks at. So, with the air movement, it is heating wherever that air is blowing. The last form of heat is radiant heat, and for this, I need to go somewhere downstairs. Now the nice thing about infrared, incidentally, is that it works in the dark. It's actually dark right now, but you can't tell from the camera. So I'll go back here to the garage, and you can see way back here we have a couple radiant heaters, and the way that radiant heat works or infrared heat, is that it transfers the heat directly from the surface of the source of the heat to whatever it's looking at. So in, in this case, we have a couple infrared heaters transferring the heat to this panel that you can see there, just a piece of metal is what it is on the stand. Now, you can notice that the front of the metal is much hotter than the back of it, and that is because of the effect of radiant heat. It's the same way that the sun heats us from 93 million miles away, is that that is infrared heat traveling through space to heat the Earth. So that's a very broad level overview of how radiant, convective, and conductive heat works. And I will take more videos to show other uh, facts about heat that I think you might find interesting. And if you like this video, I would encourage you to like it below and comment with any questions. All right, thank you for watching. See you on the next video.